Hand it over already. Hmm? What's going on? I'm saying hand over the baby formula. You looking to lose some teeth? No, please. My baby's waiting for me. Like I give a shit. Just buy the little snot more. We need that formula right now. This, this, this is absurd. Why would the Yakuza need baby formula? They're shaking the guy down for baby formula. I don't know what the hell's going on here, but it looks like he might need some help. All right, guess I'll give him a hand. Hey, not sure what the deal is over here? That formula's his, right? Huh? Who the hell are you? You his buddy or something? Nah, never met the guy. Just passing through. Someone's always gotta poke their nose into this shit. Okay, fine! We'll take it by force! Yeah. Take your You're best shot. Yeah. The fuck with this. this. Ah. Yo. Hi. Thank you.
それでは。いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございましたさあ Yeah. Hey, are you all right? Is there anything we can do to... Huh? Oh, Susumu-chan, you're so needy. Okay, time for Baba. <laughs> what the? Uh, you're the fuckers with the baby formula. Sorry to bother you, boys. Uh, yo, let's go. Uh, yes, goodbye. Not so fast, Chief. You got balls stepping into my big, comfy crib. 
Think you can waltz in here and spoil our fun? Come on, boys. Let's pacify this bitch. Sir! She's in the Let's do it! Cool. Don't okay. get cocky. Check this out. Apologies for barging in here, but this this is all just a huge misunderstanding. Huh? I'm listening. Well, actually. I get it. You thought my crying was from a real baby. Yes, we're really sorry for ruining your uh, fun. No, no, I wasn't aware. I'm the one who's sorry. Days a crying baby's more likely to get scowls than anything else. To think you'd do that for a baby you don't even know. <laughs> what are your names? Ichiban Kasuga. Uh, Masato Oshima. I see. Fine names, both of you. My name's Susumu Gondawara. Seems my men troubled you for some baby formula. Boys! Get these two some new baby formula, on the double! Yes, sir! Oh, well, we're actually quite all right on the baby formula. Please, no, no need to trouble yourselves. I step out of the house for a quick errand, and I'm gone for an eternity. My wife's gonna kill me. Ah, oh, come on, you'll just be a little late. <laughs> Your old lady that scary? N no, she's just been a little strained lately. I've been working my butt off for the sake of our child, but all she does is nag at me. Masato-chan, do you understand how hard it is to raise a kid? Have you ever bothered to help your wife, even just a little? What? Like, just holding a baby's a lot of work. You have to support their neck until they can keep their head up on their own. Lots to look out for, no matter how small the task. Babies are weak, delicate creatures. Very fragile. You can't blame your wife for being a little stressed out. Huh. That's right. Saya-chan's telling the truth. When us babies get our milk, we gotta burp. So we need a little back pad. <laughs> There's all sorts of shit like that. Now that you mention it, she is always doing those things. When they start crying in the middle of the night, I have no clue why, nor do I know how to stop it. Hey, it's our job to cry. Doesn't matter if it's the middle of the night, we'll cry when we feel like it. <laughs> I see. And here I was, jealous of how she got to sleep while I was out working all night. Your wife probably hasn't had a decent night's sleep since the little one came into the picture, you know? And even if she does get a sec to rest, you never know when she's gonna have to get back up. Sounds pretty freaking exhausting. Oh... Masato-chan, you should sit down and talk with your wife. I'm sure it's hard for both of you, but your relationship's probably strained right now because neither of you have taken the time to hear each other out. You're right. I guess, at some point, I started to think I was the one having the tougher time. But I never thought about how my wife was feeling. I'm gonna talk to my wife when I get home. I'll make sure we raise our kid right. I'm a father, after all. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. 
just don't try to do everything yourself. Family's got to support one another. Go on. Hurry back to your wife and make things right. You got this baby's approval, so I'm sure you'll do just fine. Thank you. Well, I'll be going now. Best of luck. Well, all's well that ends well, I guess. You bet. Boss, sorry we're late. We bought the formula. Ooh. Well then, why don't we drink to the man who became a proper father? Join us, why don't you? Huh? Me? That's right. No need to be shy. No, I'm good, really. Hey now, big boy. You ignoring my generosity? Not at all. It's just, that stuff's for babies. Wasting it on an adult like me will just make the hungry babies cry, yeah? And nobody wants their babies to cry. You're pretty considerate, ain't you? Don't mind me. Drink up. Oh, you're gonna be a great father someday. <laughs> we'll see about that. charge 5 million yen just to start a lease? And then it's 500k every month? Even on Soapland wages, how the hell can she afford that? And take a look at this. They've got a program called the Excellent Course. Entry fee 20 million? Then a million a month? What in the actual fuck? Yeah, I hope that's one good VIP room. Don't tell me her dad's enrolled in the excellent course. I can't imagine he is. Oh, <laughs> I could see Nanoha signing him up for the most expensive option. She'd totally do that. Her father is the only family she has. He's the reason she got a job at a big corporation. And he's the reason she works for me now. He raised her all by himself. He means everything to her. It doesn't surprise me at all that she'd pay any price to keep him comfortable. I mean, I knew she put him somewhere expensive, but this is just crazy. No matter how much you love someone, you've got to set some boundaries. I'm starting to think this was never about a guy she was dating. You wanted us to investigate her because you were worried about her. Am I right? Yes, I was worried. I worry about all my employees. But once they clock out, I can't help them. And I hate that. Especially the girls who have such troubled pasts. You never know if they're doing okay or not. That's why I'm strict about how much time they take off. I worry. So you have a good reason to keep them working so much. And here I thought you were just a huge asshole. <laughs> I guess you can stop your investigation now. She might be putting herself in danger. But if she's doing it for her dad, I really have no right to interfere. It's her life. In any case, I don't think she's seeing anyone on the side. No? I mean, when we saw her today, she looked miserable. She was definitely telling you the truth when she said she wasn't feeling good. My guess is she's suffering from a ton of stress. From work? Oh, I think it's something else. Nanoha is her father's guarantor. I'm sure of that. 
It doesn't make any sense that she wouldn't be allowed to see him. And you guys saw her pay two million to a rep from the home? Maybe that wasn't the entire bill. Maybe she still owes them money. And until she pays, they won't let her see her dad. That's fucked up. Yeah, but it might be true. Nationwide, more than one out of every five people is elderly. And there are lots of crooked businesses trying to cash in on that. Even if an establishment looks legit on the surface, you never know what might be lurking underneath. I think I know what happened. They accepted her dad, told her she could pay the entry fee in installments, and then once he moved in, they wouldn't let her see him until she paid it off in full. Why pull that shit? Just to get her to pay it off quicker. They don't care what she has to do to earn it. They just want their money as soon as possible. That's just... so cruel. Plenty of bastards in the world who do it without a second thought. No wonder her health is bad. Who could deal with that kind of pressure? <sighs> and by taking time off, she'll lose income. She'll end up being late on her payments. Damn, at that rate, she'll never get to see her dad. Nope. And there's another thing that could happen that's even worse. What's that? Well, depending on what the contract says, if she misses a payment, they could kick her dad out and not return any of her money. After she's been working herself to the bone just to pay them? And honestly, who the hell knows if they're really providing good care in that place? Hardly anyone's allowed inside, so there's no oversight. That sounds to me like they can do whatever they damn well please. Even to the residents who are paid up. I don't understand how they get away with this shit. Please! None of us needs to understand it. All that matters is saving Nanoha's dad. Boss, we can't save him. There's no way. Sure, we all want to, but... I mean, they won't even let the guy's own daughter in. The place is pretty much on lockdown. I just don't see a way around that. I think I see a way around it. What? Boss, you okay with us working a second job? Uh, huh? The three of us could work at Sunlight Castle for a bit. You want to infiltrate the place by getting jobs there? How do we get them to hire us? Well, we're sort of buddies with that guy Kambe over at Hello Work. Let's get him to help us. Yes! It's a great idea. I'll call Kanbe and make it happen. I think we can do this! We can save Nanoha's father! <laughs>